Hi, Michael came here again with Prudential Select Properties. Welcome back to my blog. Today we're going to talk about how you can sell your property that's listed for sale for above the list price. Now in this market, with these market conditions, you think it's nearly impossible to get multiple bidders on your property and to sell it above the list price. However, we've created a concept that can sell your property above the list price. And I'm going to talk to you about that in just a minute and tell you what it is. Now, one thing I want to mention is um, I'm going to talk to you about the dangers of overpricing. If your property is listed for sale 10% above fair market value, only 2% of the buyers are actually going to come out and preview your property. You're not going to get any showings. If your house is 5% above fair market value, you're going to get about 30% of the buyers looking at the property. At fair market value, 60% of the buyers that are looking for a property like yours will come out and or preview your property. Below fair market value, if you're 10% below fair market value, you're going to get 92% or more of the buyers to come out and preview the property. So almost all the buyers will know it's there and will come out and preview it. So what we've created is a concept that allows you to price your house below fair market value, yet sell it at fair market or above fair market. It's called a progressive reserve auction. Now, it's a very unique concept and you have to have a licensed auctioneer in order to do it and we happen to have one, so we're, I'll discuss that with you in a little bit. Now, understand that this is not a distressed sale, so you're not giving your house away. There's a reserve price that has to be met. Also, another rule is that, that this, or another, concept, another part of this concept is that it's not a live auction. You're not going to have a ton of buyers with an auctioneer at the front doorstep auctioning off the house. This is an online MLS auction that's realtor friendly. So the realtors will come and preview the property and show the property just like a normal listing. They'll write an offer on their purchase agreement, their normal purchase agreement. They'll have to use as well a, a couple page progressive reserve auction addendum attached to the offer and they'll um, just show it just like a normal listing and write an offer just like a normal listing so they'll feel comfortable with the process. Another thing to consider is uh, when, you're, when you try this concept is that you're going to get a lot more showings in your property. Remember, the house is below fair market value so a lot of buyers are going to come out and preview it because they're going to want to get that great deal. Um, another thing to consider is that you're going to get offers in your property, at least you should get offers in your property, and in most cases, we'll get multiple offers in the property. Now, the list price in the MLS is, in the beginning, is fair market or just above fair market value, and then it drops to a starting bid price, because at auctions, there's no such thing as a list price. There's a minimum starting bid price. And that minimum starting bid price is so far below fair market value, 10 or 20% below fair market, that it will create a lot of action on the property and you'll remain in complete control the entire time. Now during the reserve auction, again, you're not required to accept any offer. You're remaining complete control. As bids come in, you're going to have a lot of options. You're going to have the right to turn down offers, reject them outright, let bidders bid up the price and drive the price against each other and wait for the best offer that we can present to you. or you can accept an offer if it's a price that makes sense. The fourth rule of the auction that you'll like, and, and as long as you're able to disclose this, as long as we disclose this to bidders, you have the right to bid on your own auction property. That's a very key item during this concept because it allows you to drive the demand up for your house. Now, I'm going to give you an example as to how this, this concept can really work for you. I went on a listing appointment in Solon, and it was a relocation seller. They were relocated to Nashville, and myself and two other realtors had interviewed for the job trying to sell their house. We all appraised the property for about $190,000, maybe one ninety-five. dollars So the sellers agreed to list it with me and use my auction concept. We listed the property for sale for one ninety-nine nine. dollars Now that list price was the um, beginning list price, and after a couple days, we dropped the list price to $169.9 as a minimum starting bid price. Now, within a week, we had seven showings in the property and three offers. Seven showings in a week and three offers. The first bid that came in came in at $182, the second offer came in at $185, and the third bid that came in was $183. None of those offers were acceptable to the seller, so we asked all the bidders to resubmit their highest and best offer, and we told them, this is an auction, 
and we want you to come in with your highest and best offer and assuming it's your last chance at getting this house. Now wait till you see these results. First offer that came back, $199.9. Second offer, $195. Third bidder, $215,000. We sold it for an unbelievable price. Oh, two weeks later, the appraiser came out. He was shocked at how high of a house or a price that we sold that property for. We helped him find comps just outside of the neighborhood, and he appraised the property for two fifteen, dollars and we sold it at above fair market value. So, if you're interested in this concept and you're looking to sell your house fast for maximum dollar, give me a call direct at 440-974-0404. Thanks, and make it a great day.